The sad thing is, Lynn, he's a good kicker. He's a good kicker, but he's an idiot. Okay, welcome to another MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and today I'm letting you know about a video I was looking at, or an old video that I found while I was looking through a lot of old footage that I had in the, um, the, the late 90s to the early 2000s of Peyton Manning. All right, the guy that we always see on TV who's so humble and so, uh, you know, positive, so politically correct. Uh, Take a look at this video. Then Manning rips into his kicker. There was an article, a story, Mike Vanderjack and your team made some comments questioning maybe your passion and your and, and, and the personality of you and Tony Dungy as to being winners. Yeah, that's hard to believe, Lamb. Here we are. I'm out of my third Pro Bowl. I'm about to go in and throw a touchdown to Jerry Rice. We're honoring the Hall of Fame. We're talking about our idiot kicker who got liquored up and ran his mouth off. So. Hey, Al, Dan, what has the sports world come to? We're talking about idiot kickers. He has ruined kickers for life. Akers and Vinatieri, these guys are great guys. They've been getting killed all week because our idiot ran his mouth. So when I get home, I'll deal with it. Tony and I have talked about it. It's kind of funny, really, when you think about it. Uh, if he is still a teammate, we'll deal with it. You know, that remains to be seen. But the sad thing is, Lynn, he's a good kicker. He's a good kicker, but he's an idiot. Hey, Dan, what do you think about this? Peyton, <laughs> I think you've already uh, dealt with it. Okay, so as you can see, this is definitely another side of Peyton Manning, all right, um, that we've never seen before. Okay, um, obviously, uh, he's really angry. Okay, he's really pissed off, all right? He doesn't like what the, his kicker, you know, uh, did before. And now he got a chance, you know, to lash out. I'm figuring that he held on to this for quite a bit of time, right, before coming, uh, before getting the opportunity to come on TV and blast him, all right? Um, this is really out of character as we've never seen him like that, like I said before. Okay, so it has to be some valid reason, you know, why he had to talk like that. All right, and I guess nobody else has crossed Peyton Manning like this, um, you know, ever since. Or maybe he was embarrassed about this situation. Who knows? But I never heard him even talk about it. I never even heard him talk about anybody like this. He's always talking in glowing terms. You know, he's always so positive. But in this case, it was the exact opposite. You know, so I hope nobody else gets on the wrong side of Peyton Manning ever again. All right, so until next time.